take you there, but it's all right. We got another copy of it someplace. The girl's all right with me. Don't worry about the temptations. I got a request now for um, Audrey and Henry. Garnet Mims. Cry, baby. <laughs> It just makes my liver quiver. Flame on, baby, one more time, please. That's what I'm talking about. Look out, Mr. Sandman. Zot! for a fox that used to attend a Hyde Park High School named Dolores Ubita. And boy, she was sharp. If we got any Hyde Parkers listening, you probably remember, especially some of the fellas, no doubt about that. Cry, baby. Ooh, ah. Hey, we got another request here <laughs> on the Cool Gym Show. Hey, look, since we have so many listeners tonight on Dusty Record Time, and a lot of you out of town, in town, kindly uh, get as many pet milk labels as you can and send them to me. Now, here's a whole idea. Every disc jockey, a WB, a W, a <laughs> B-O-A. <laughs> uh, I'll be working back out there finally. Yeah, this is a great station. There's no lie about that. I was out there five years. Anyway, every WVON good guy. I'll be told about that. I know that. But every WVON good guy is plugging for pet milk labels, one of our sponsors. Now, the whole idea is the, the disc jockey here that get some most pet milk labels will win the contest. In other words, he'll be the goodest good guy or something like that, which is not really real because we're all good guys. We all work for the same thing, but uh, we're egotist. And most disc jockeys feel that they, their audience is as big as anybody else's audience, bar none, because they feel what they have to offer is unique. <laughs> That's as I feel. And so we're out to prove, you know, who's got the most to offer and all the rest of that doesn't mean that much, except that uh, if you do send in more pet milk labels than anybody else, you'll get a television set. And I think um, somebody from the west side is leading with 250 labels right now, which shows you how far you have to go, but you can do it, you know? So if you send in 300, then that puts you number one, and you're in line for the TV set and so on ad infinitum. We close the contest March 15th. If I win, I also get a TV set. I don't know what the standings are now. It's three or four days ago. I was in second place with about 255 votes. So how many have come in since then? I do not know. But I'm plugging, plugging, plugging. And some of you listen only on Saturday, and I figured I'd get quite a few votes from our Saturday Night Dusty Record program. Mail to Herbert Rogers Kent, WVON 3350 South Kedzie, Chicago 23, Illinois. Now put your name and my name, Herbert Rogers Kent, on the... Uh, label and your school or place of business or something like that and I give you a little plug on the radio uh, when I receive it. Cool, baby. In the meantime, we've got a request for Fred, the dealer, and Sue. They're around 35th and Halstead, great neighborhood. And it's young Henry Ford from Fred and Sue. It's a goodie. Let's do it to it. Young Henry Ford and the gifts. Flame on, baby. Teardrops are falling. Great for the dealer and Sue. Zot. All righty. Well, don't forget our new expression now. Not Fesnickies, but hammers. You up to that? There's a silver bell out there. She's what you call a dog or a canine hammer. Hi, baby. All right. <laughs> Bunch of leg <Lego>. off. <laughs> oh, she's going to eat out that bell. I'll tell you what let's do. Uh, WVON, hello. Yeah, what's your name? Charles, what's your full name? Anderson, what's cool from Charles Anderson? Parker. No, no we can't take any technical dedication. I just want to ask you a question. Where does snow come from? 
from the clouds. Thank you. Well, there's another answer. Well, let's do Thank it, too. Jackie Wilson, baby, work out. One of the great songs used to play all the time at St. Anselm's. That was the swinging hop. Well, the swinging is hop of Ma will occur again tomorrow at St. Philip's Lady of Sorrows, 4.30 till 10. Get there early and make sure you get in because you know how jam-packed we get on Sunday. Boy, it's a place to go. You look for something to do on Sunday, and there it is, St. Philip's. It's a like gas. Uh, first 200 people receive a free copy of uh, Martha Vandela's Nowhere to Run, Nowhere to Hide. Got a request coming up next. In the next 10 minutes, we'll be brought to you by the 7-Up Company in Chicago. Mr. Grant Jones is listening out there tonight digging these dusty jams. Grant Jones, here's your song. Bobby Day and Rock and Robin. <laughs> Hi, Herb Kent with a message. Now's the time. Yes, now is the time your food dealer is featuring 7-Up with Best of Foods. From the 7-Up International Sandwich Gardens at the New York World's Fair come colorful sandwich making and other food ideas for home use with sparkling 7-Up. Look for the 7-Up displays and special values in around the world eating next time you shop. Perhaps you'll be one of the lucky people to win a beautiful international costume doll. There are four different designs representing four different countries, Canada, Argentina, Alaska, and the United States. The costumes are very gay and colorful, and each doll is a full eight inches tall. You just pick up an entry blank and complete rules from the 7-Up Festa food display for you shop. All you do is write down your name and address, mail is directed, or write to 7-Up WBO in Chicago. Nothing to buy, no task to perform. Put your name in today. Fancy foods, fun foods, party foods. Enjoy them at their best with 7 Up. 7 Up, where there's action. Anytime, anywhere, any day. Brightens the good taste of your favorite snacks and sandwiches. Its special clean freshness sharpens your taste. Gives every bite first bite excitement. Food and 7-Up, that's for you. You belong where there's action. You bring along 7-Up. You can bet you'll get action. All the way when you say 7-Up. True story. Don't worry about the giant fly. That's crazy, huh? Well, them boss do wops. That's too much, isn't it? Herbert Rogers came here concluding our 10-minute segment of music brought to you by the 7-Up Company in Chicago. Here comes the cool jam. Thank you. Uh, this is one we made a few years ago. You call Hoochie Coochie Man. 
The gypsy woman told my mother Before I was born Hoochie Coochie Man, Mr. Muddy Waters. <laughs> I see a Hoochie Coochie Man from here. I'd say well, there's two Hoochie Coochie Men work for this radio station, as far as I'm concerned. All right, Herbert Rogers came here, mellow, mellow. And don't forget all you hammers out there, we'll be looking for you tomorrow at St. Philip's. A hammer, of course, is a young lady. You up to that? Flame on, baby. All right, I will. Wilson's Grade A frying chickens, fresh nut frozen, 15 and a half cents a pound. Native beef pot roast, 25 cents a pound. Oscar Mayer red band bacon, five one-pound packages for a dollar. Agar's chitlins, a big bucket for a dollar, 29. Oscar Mayer wieners, 39 cents a pound package. Barbecue spare ribs, 19 and a half cents a pound. Quaker cornmeal, a five-pound bag for a quarter. So good you can dip your fingers in it and just eat it dry. Dairy State Country Roll butter, 49 and a half cents a pound. A large box of fab washing powder for a quarter. I don't advise that you eat that. Uh, Borden's grade A sweet or buttermilk, three one-half gallon cartons for a dollar. And they do sell pet milk, you understand? Uh, Red Cross spaghetti or macaroni, three boxes for a quarter. What's this I said about chitlins? Isn't that horrible? All those chitlins for $1.29. Now they'd be ashamed of themselves making people eat chitlins. And, and they don't smell good when they cook either. You know that? But like them if you will. So there you go. The RB open every day including Sunday. All righty, the Hoochie Coochie Man, Muddy Waters, was the last recording play on uh, the good part of this radio station, W.